Hi everyone, so today is another Magpie Glitter review. Um, I brought these six glitters um, a couple of weeks ago but I've only just now been able to film um, and also all of the colours are now back in stock so you can go and buy them from the website which is... So um, I'm just going to get straight in and show you my swatches um, and talk you through the glitters. So we'll start right here. Um, on this gold glitter which is called Goldie so um, and this is an opaque glitter um, and what's really really nice about this gold is it's not really yellow um, I've done my swatch over OPI's golden eye so if I turn it over you can see that actually that is a real yellow gold um, so it's turned it into this really sort of lovely just non non yellow gold and um, it's a really pretty gold as you can see um, and once again obviously the glitter is really really nice and fine and super easy to apply so that's the first one then the second one is we've got this black multi glitter um, one and this is called ebony so and as you can see in the pot it mainly is black but then you've got sort of green gold and purple sort of flecks in it which is really nice um, so it sort of comes up this real multicoloured glitter it kind of turns it into sort of a bluey tone as well because of the blue glitter in there as well um, and I swatched this over OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark so then the next one is this greeny coloured so my swatch is quite a lot different to actually what the glitter looks like in the bottle this one is called Bell, um, and this is actually a translucent green. So obviously you can see it's green and gold in there. Um, so I did it over kind of the only green that I've got, which is OPI's Thanks a, a Wind Million, which is this sort of dark greeny mint colour. So, I mean, it's really, really pretty. Um, and I'm hoping to sort of get some more greens to hopefully go with sort of the neon like of the glitter but because it is translucent it can go over any colour so um, that's also really really good so then the next one we have is this pink here and this one is called Cindy again this is a translucent one so although it looks very neon in the bottle obviously whatever pink or colour you put it over um, it doesn't sort of make it, it doesn't mask that colour whereas the opaque ones do um, so this one is actually over OPI's Susie has a Swede tooth um, so you can kind of see it's a nice sort of bright pink colour um, and it's sort of turned it into sort of a blue colour like a blue pink which is really really nice so hopefully you can kind of see that on the camera so and again I'm going to hopefully buy a sort of more neon gel pink for this to go over because I think you know the neon pink is going to be really really um, interesting to see and also quite a lot of my clients are probably going to like it for the summer so then the next one is this orange this is called Eve and again this is another translucent so obviously the bottle and my swatch look a bit different from each other um, I put this over, again, sort of the only orange I have, which is OPI's um, Where Did Susie's Man Go? So it's sort of a pastel-y orange. Um, so you, but you can kind of see how pretty it looks. You know, you've got the orange and the gold bits in there. Um, so again, this is another one that I'm hopefully going to buy sort of a neon orange for to be able to put this glitter over the top for it to be, you know, a definite colour for the summer so then lastly but not least we have this yellow colour and this is Lucy and again this is another translucent um, the same as sort of all of these four here um, so obviously it looks very very neon in the bottle which actually my clients are loving but unfortunately I don't have a neon yellow for it to go over so the only yellow I've got is OPI's I just can't Cope Acabana so and it's this sort of like banana yellow pastel colour so obviously um, I mean it looks really really pretty I like this as it is 
um, but obviously for my clients that do really like the the neon-esque of Lucy um, again I'm going to be buying some neon colours to be able to go with the neon glitter so there are all my swatches for some of the new magpie glitters that I've recently bought. Um, she has brought a new collection out so I will be hopefully buying that soon. Um, so as soon as I receive it I will swatch it and do another video for you as well. If you would like to see my neon swatches when I get the neon um, gel polishes with the neon glitters just comment below and I'll get one filmed as soon as I receive the colours. As always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye!